What's up, the squad? Back with another video. Make sure y'all go check out Doug's X out in the description box down below. Um, was covering, you know, some Jack Smith. Um, and I, I definitely wanted to, you know, obviously get more info on what's going on with Jack Smith. Um, and, and really everybody, you know, I, I try to keep up with everybody. You know, today was a little bit slower. Today, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Um, I was stuck watching the Iowa and South Carolina game, and um, you know, um, that's I'm a basketball person. But anyways, definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching this reaction. Let's get in a video. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Aileen Cannon planning something even better for Donald Trump, says an attorney. This is the giant lawfare against Trump. This is about the Mar-a-Lago's document case where he held back those documents and Jack Smith went after him for disobeying him. They did a search, you know, of Mar-a-Lago. Now this court trial is ongoing uh, down in Miami, Florida with a Trump appointed judge Aileen Cannon, and she really kicks Jack Smith in the groin on this one. Today, the judge overseeing his classified documents trial, Judge Aileen Cannon, rejected Trump's request to dismiss the charges against him. Now, Trump's lawyers had argued that the Presidential Records Act gave Trump the power to retain classified documents. But in a three-page ruling, Judge Cannon said that the Presidential Records Act does not provide a pretrial basis to dismiss any of the charges. While that may seem like Cannon is ruling in favor of special counsel Jack Smith, Judge Cannon very much left the door open today for the former president to use the Presidential Records Act as part of his defense during the trial. Former federal prosecutor and legal analyst Glenn Kirshner alleged on Friday that Judge Aileen Cannon is, quote, orchestrating something even more beneficial for Trump in his uh, criminal classified documents trial. It's important to remember that Glenn Kirshner, you know, these are all political. They all have their own political um, statement for or against Trump. He happens to be against Trump. Among the four criminal cases that Trump, uh, the presumed 2024 GOP presidential nominee, is charged in, one of the most damning, according to legal experts, has been the classified documents case, which charges Trump with unlawfully retaining such documents after leaving the White House in 2021. Some containing sensitive national defense information in violation of the Espionage Act. Trump himself has pleaded not guilty to the charges and accused the investigation of being politically motivated. He specifically is saying he has a right to hold these things. He has a right to declassify these documents because it happened under his presidency. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Oh, and on the experts saying this is really the one that probably puts Trump in the most jeopardy because he mm. clearly held the documents and they asked him to hand them over. He said no. He flat out he stood by his values and said no. So this is the one where it'd be probably the easiest to get him. But because they're classified documents, they all have to be redacted. That means the entire jury can't see. You know, there's an argument over what they can and can't see. And so there's a lot of political turmoil with this particular case. Cannon, who was appointed by to the bench by Trump in the final months of his presidency, was selected to oversee the case and has been criticized in many corners for decisions that have been deemed overtly beneficial to the former president. You have to remember, she really hasn't acquitted herself well, whether you think that it's from inexperience, whether you think it's because she's partisan or both. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, my opinion is it's both, um, that she's both inexperienced and she is consistently ruling in unlawful ways for only one side. Now that's all spin mm. because they're just angry that this is one judge that's been appointed by Trump. All the other cases against him have all been Obama or Biden or Clinton appointments, so they're all Democrats. And so that's what they consider fair. They consider this unfair, that this is a Republican uh, judge. And I actually think Aileen Cannon has been very careful to act like an impartial judge. They're just not used to normalcy on the Democrat side. She has also specifically been accused by of helping Trump by delaying the case's proceedings, by holding off on announcing an official trial date as matters are worked through. Now, she has been accused of dragging her feet, but she's just being normal with all of this case. The timing of it matches up with her normal, uh, the way that she uh, handles her cases. On Thursday, however, Cannon ruled against a motion from Trump's legal team, 
requesting that his espionage act charges be dismissed, arguing that he was allowed to retain the documents under the Presidential Records Act, a notion that Department of Justice's DOJ, Special Counsel Jack Smith's team, dismissed as pure fiction. In denying the motion, Cannon did leave open the possibility that the argument could be raised at a later date in the case. Um, Andrew, you know, we were talking about confidence in the judiciary, and I'm all for believing in institutional integrity, but man, Judge Cannon, she tests she, she tests the bounds of that every day. Now, I'm only saying if she's a big Trump ally and and just trying to help him out, why would she do that? Because that technically cut against Trump. They won't acknowledge it because they, they're still going for their spin on this yeah. whole thing that she's just trying to help Trump even when she's not trying to help him. In a and everybody being against him. that's crazy. Friday post to his official YouTube channel, Kirshner, <clears throat> a former assistant U.S. attorney and frequent critic of the former president, argued that this decision from Cannon is laying the groundwork for something that will be, quote, even better for Trump. And that's why I'm for it. I like it when the politics cut uh, and help us every once in a while, because this, is, this would only be one quarter to one fifth of the trials against Trump, where he gets what I consider a fair shake. Quote, she's orchestrating something even better for Donald Trump. He said, if she had granted this motion and dismissed those charges, guess what? Special counsel Jack Smith would have been able to appeal. But what she said is, quote, I'm not going to dismiss them now, but I might dismiss them later when we're in trial, after the jury's been sworn, after jeopardy has attached. The big the thing that people need to understand once the jury is sworn double jeopardy attaches meaning if the jury acquits or if the judge acquits it's over what does jeopardy mean you can't try the same guy twice for the same thing so at that point it'll be double jeopardy for uh, jack smith to appeal and retry him so that's not going to happen why because then jack smith can't appeal a dismissal and donald trump will never be held accountable for those crimes, unquote. Similar accusations of this tactic were levied against Judge Cannon last month when she denied a motion from Trump's legal team looking to have 32 of his 40 charges dismissed on presidential immunity grounds. She did so without prejudice, meaning that Trump's team can raise the issue later on down the line if they choose to. Now, Neil Katyal, a lawyer and former acting U.S. Solicitor General during the Obama administration, so he's guilty already, previously suggested that while Cannon could end up rejecting the motions to dismiss arguments, the fact she held a long, day-long hearing to discuss their merit is, in the first place, is ultimately helping Trump in his hopes to delay the federal trial. Now, this is the thing with Jack Smith that I always accuse him of. This is all just about timing. They just want to get him before the election. They don't mm -hmm. care about justice. And if they cared about justice, they'd let her take her time on it and be thorough about it. But their fear is that she's not going to make a ruling before the election in November. And I think that's what mainly comes about is the fact that their win is obviously uh, Trump. Oh, he's not he, he not going to be he's he not going to be president. Oh, he's he's not president. Cool. Boom. We, we, we you know. That is what I look when I, you know, we do reactions on, on Fannie Willis. We do reactions on Letitia James. We see what, you know, Stormy, A.G. Kerr. I feel like that's more so of what a lot of people are looking at that, man. You know, like, yeah, we, he can't, like, I, I and I look at that. You know, I, I, of course, we look at these videos. We talk about these videos and get great information. But I just look at the fact that, you know, when it comes all down to it, it's, it's, it's a lot of people that just don't want to see him win. Speaking to MSNBC on March 14th, Stuff the day sad. of the hearing, uh, Katyal and Cannon's decisions in favor- not to cut a dug off, there's also a lot of people that does want to see him win. It, it, and we, we covered this too. We covered this too. It is a lot of people that are starting to wake up and realize. Over of Smith's office was only a partial victory, similar to what may occur with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on whether Trump can cite presidential immunity to discuss his federal- uh, election obstruction case. Let's skip down to that final paragraph to wrap this up. Quote, there's no chance that Trump is going to win and that the court is going to say he has absolute immunity. But what the Supreme Court did there is delay his trial for January 6th charges, potentially to after the election, unquote, Katyal said. Quote, and the same thing I fear is happening with Judge Cannon. She keeps kicking the can down the road. 
the fact that she had a day long hearing today on those two bogus issues tell you everything you need to know. The only thing that Donald Trump's arguments warrant are an eye roll and a swift denial. Now, they're being disrespectful to the entire justice system just because Aileen Cannon is a Trump appointment. And so all of these people that talk about, oh, respect of the law and respect of the justice, there's no respect for Aileen Cannon. They show great disrespect for her in the media. These are lawyers, fellow judges, Jack Smith. They're all angry that she's not on board with the Democrat lawfare agenda of get Trump and we'll work out the legality and precedent and tradition later. So I'm, I'm happy to see Aileen Cannon uh, fight for the law. I, in the end, I think she's fair. She's already shown that she's cut against Trump on some of these motions. And yet suddenly now she's doing this one thing where she pushed back on Jack Smith. And it's a warning to him. She's saying like, you don't own me. You don't own me, buddy. And corrupt Jack Smith is angry because he owns all the other judges. I'm done. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, it, it is that. And the sad thing is, is it, it, I, I don't look at the fact that like, I don't think it should be, oh yeah, oh, this person ain't rocking with us because, you know, we, we obviously, you know, yeah, but it is, you know, sadly it is. But there are some, you know, judges, some, some people out here that just looks at the right, the, the, the right doing, you know, uh, uh, the respectful way of what's right, you know, and not, you know, the, it, it's when you have so many people and I, you cover so much stuff on this. When you have so many people that is so negative when it comes to Trump and trying everything they can do, you know, we need more people, you know, that, that actually, even if they don't necessarily, you know, like Trump, you know, I've said this before. If they don't, if they don't even like Trump, just do what's right, you know, do what's right. Um, and that's, that's just the way to go. And that's how I look at things. Make sure I hit the like, but that's I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in, watching these reactions. Comment y'all thoughts down below, please. I would love to see, you know, I, I'm gonna try to look at them, you know, still got to cook dinner, feed the dogs, you know, but it's all good. I'm still be checking out some of those comments. So make sure y'all comment down below, like that video for me. Catch y'all next one.